How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Genesis Battle of Champions video. Today, we are going to be opening up some Jaylara 2nd Edition. This set isn't even out yet. The makers of the game, Haunted Castle Gaming, or Haunted Castle Studio, Haunted Castle Gaming, sent me some um, like Genesis preview stuff, and so we're going to do that in today's video. I have this with uh, stuff inside that I don't know. We have a really, really cool playmat, and of course, a booster box. I also know that there may be some sort of giveaway thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure, so just watch onward for that. If there is a giveaway, we'll probably have like a secret word or code to say that we'll say at some point in the video for you to say and in the comments. And um, yeah, 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 let's just, let's just start. I think it's gonna be really fun. I have not even looked at any of the cards in this set. I do know it is a reprinting of the first three sets, um, Beta slash Welcome to Jalara and Raze, I believe. Um, and it's like the best cards and there's been some rarity adjustments. I don't know, I think it's really cool. And uh, let's check it out and I'll give you like my full opinions on this. Let's do it. All right, here we go everyone. I'm actually really excited to open this up. It's one of the first times I've ever opened up a product ahead of release on the channel. So that's in, in of itself is uh, pretty exciting for me. But also, I think Genesis is just a fantastic, underrated game, um, like a, a true hidden gem, and the people who make this game are very nice folks who actually really, really care about their game. Um, it, it's more of a passion project than, you know, like, a, I, don't know, I don't know how to put it, I don't know how to put it, but it, it's great, it's great, you can really feel it. So, uh, Haunted Castle Gaming, let's open this up. I have no idea what's inside here. I know some other content creators got some stuff as well, but... Um, Let's use our box cutter here. Um, I haven't watched any of their videos yet. I know some of them posted their videos a little bit earlier than me, but uh, I've been I've been a little busy. I've been a little busy, so yeah. Let, let's open this up. Ooh, dude, this looks really nice. Yo, okay, hold on, hold on. Make sure make sure there's nothing else in here. Uh, looks really nice, and uh, that's one of the key character I think from this uh, from this game. All right, let's see. So Jalara Second Edition. We have, ooh, like some uh, some promos here. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's read this out loud. This totally isn't my third time trying to read this and messing it up. So let's see if we get it this time. It says, hey, Red Zone Rogue, I am psyched to have you do an early access box opening for Jaylara Second Edition. Me too, I think it's gonna be really, really sweet. I can't wait to hear your feedback on what we did right, wrong, and what you would like to see more of um, as the game grows. Yeah, that's really fair, thank you, man. Uh, I'm always honored when you talk about Genesis on your channel. One of the coolest moments was when you called us the most underrated TCG. Dude, I said that before I even opened this up and I still, uh, I still think that. I think uh, Genesis is the most underrated TCG out there. Um, so many people are sleeping on it. It's a, it's a cool game. Um, we will continue to work hard to deserve more space on your channel. Regards, Assad and Haunted Castle Gaming Team. Yo, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. I'm like, oh, I like the, it's nice. This is nice, you know? It's really nice. I like the, the, the horse here too. And so what we have here is, I have no idea. Let's see, ooh, Purifying Wave. Uh, hey, we are very excited to have you preview our newest set, Jaylara Second Edition, a reprinting of the best cards from Beta. Welcome to Jaylara, raise in a single set. In this package, we put in a booster box, um, one of our neoprene mats, which I'm using here, which is actually awesome. They, they sent me like my favorite mat, which is sweet. They didn't even know that. Uh, but it's definitely my style. Maybe they've got a good beat beat on my uh, my style. Um, in this package, we put a booster box. Yeah, I read that already. And five purifying way promos. These promos are you to sign and send to your community. Dude, that's sweet. Um, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> let's let's do that. I will do that. So it has a signature from Assad, the creator of the game. And you know what? I will I will sign I will sign some stuff too. Um, or maybe hold on. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see if they're all signed by Assad. Maybe it's just the one. Oh, okay, so I get it. This one's for me, signed by Assad, and then I will sign these ones and ship them out to you. Purifying Wave is a really sweet card. It's kind of like a Wrath of God if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering. Blows up all the dudes. Um, it also blows up all like uh, buff, buff type cards, Bl blows up all alterations as well. So yeah, that's really sweet. So let me know in the comments down below if you like this game. And uh, maybe we'll come up with like a code word later in the video to say, and uh, I'll pick five random people and uh, they'll, they'll get one of these. I'll, I'll sign it for them and I'll uh, ship it to them. Yeah. yeah, 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 let's do that. 
That's really cool. We will do that in this video as a reward for you watching the video. Um, let's see, JLR 2nd Edition is a huge milestone for us because it marks the first set we will be, or that will be widely distributed at release. However, it also carries risks and we want to be there for our community when that happens. If anyone in your community experiences any issues with Genesis cards or mats, please have them reach us at uh, this, you know, you, um, help at contentcastlegaming.com. Email address, that's what that's called. <laughs> that's what that's called. Um, be excited for the launch of Jalara 2nd Edition on August 20th, regards. Yeah, really, really cool. So, we are going to get to this. Um, I'm going to kind of put a lot of these just back in here for now, I think. Um, and then we're going to open up the booster box. Like I said, uh, we'll come up with a, something to say, like a, a keyword to say later on in this video. And uh, just say the keyword, I have no idea. It, it could be... It could be anything. It could be pickles, man. I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, just just keep watching, and we'll uh, we'll come up with something. So yeah, let's, let's do this. Uh, once again, we've got a box cutter here. I'm really excited to open this up. I've heard this set is really sweet and fun to open from another content creator friend who does this. Um, so yeah, I am eager to open it up. Um, Jelara Second Edition, ages thirteen plus. Um, yeah, I have opened up booster packs of every set of this game on the channel, but I've never opened up a full box. This is the first time I've opened up a full booster box of Genesis on the channel. So this is gonna be really interesting. Ooh, we have some different pack arts here. Let's see, they were they were even on the top. Let's see, let me just grab a stack and see how many different pack arts there are. All right, there's some few, there's a few, there's a few. All right, yeah, 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 let's, uh, let's do this. So these are, uh, this is a game made in Canada. Um, made and produced in Canada, I believe. Um, one thing I like already is I'm able to open up the packs without too much difficulty. I was talking to someone the other day about uh, opening packs and stuff. Um, all right, so we have uh, a by who? Uh, that's a common Marshall Sentry, Skeleton Warrior. The cards do feel in this edition a little bit, a little bit flimsier than normal. Um, probably have a different printer, I'd guess. Selective Amnesia. Fire Hill, um, Yab Yamaduta, Temporal Relocation, We've got this Tarantula. Okay, this is a uh, stack token card. Oh, dude, we got, the, we got the horse. We got the box horse in the very first pack. Uh, Barrack, nice, very, very cool. I, I actually like the art on this. It looks very, like, classic, very uh, realistic. Oh, double rare pack, yo. Stone Protector of Ni. Ni, we are the knights who say Ni. All right, so... I'm not sure, ooh, I got some backwards cards. I'm not sure how this goes. I'm not sure if you get two rares per pack or what. So this one is a common shoulder hop or a transmutation, shadow claw and dark brand. Interesting, I'm, I wonder why it was like backwards like that. Hmm, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out as we go. Uh, the way I like to open up packs is I like to just get this and then create a little breach right at the top like that. Most card games you can do that uh, because the, the glue at the top isn't usually that good and you can just kind of pop it without um, damaging the cards. That's how I open up all of my flesh and blood packs. Um, but some games like Metas, you can't do that. Um, anyway, yeah, Inferno Pits, common. I don't remember this being common. I think we've had some rarity shifts here. I'm not sure what these back couple cards are. We have Rompo. I like the name Rompo. Tornado wins. If one of your critiques, by the way, and I know some people are gonna mention this, if one of your critiques of this game is the art, I know they are working hard to like do better, make it make it good. I, th I think the art's still good, but um, ooh, epic Vorpal Blade, yo, that's sick. Um, and I'm just saying. So I know that they're you know working to upgrade their art and all of that kind of stuff because I have seen the box art for the next set and it looks freaking awesome. Um, Vorpal Blade. That's an epic, really cool. Ooh, we got a full art hero token. Oh, dude, okay, so we have hero on one side and then full art on the other. I really dig that, I really dig that. We'll put heroes in their own pile. We also have an enraged gorilla, it's a rare. And another rare, guardian of balance. This is the one that was on, we'll reach over here, right there. I think this card's pretty good. I have a couple of them, I think. And I also think they changed the centering of the art a little bit, hmm. Yeah, interesting. Okay, cool. So we'll put our rares here. And then let's make a line of epics down here, right? I think epics are... 
I think they're extended art versions of normal cards. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, th I think that's what they are. Um, they're like special extended alt art versions of um, different cards. And um, yeah, yeah, let's let's continue. We have a good old Tiger, Hawajin Common. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure some of these cards were not common before. I'm really curious what those backwards cards are. So, um, yeah, I'm curious what those are. Whip Smash, that is beautiful. Beautiful artwork, Angel's Embrace. Backflip, oh, this. so this is, um, I'll see if I remember the name, Rain, is it Rain? Yeah, there we go, Rain, nice. Put that here. So Vorpal Blade, yeah. So we have the, yeah, so it is, it's like extended art here. You can see it kind of extends just a, just a little bit down, uh, but it gives you another chance to, and also the, the templating is a little bit different too. Huh, interesting. So yeah, that's that's what the, the epic cards are. And then Celestial Hegemon, really cool. So yeah, we, it looks like we get double rares in the packs. We haven't gotten any foils yet. I do know, I do know that they have foils. I'm really curious if they shifted this angel rarity. Um, I have a couple beta angels, so we'll see. Power Punch. Power Puncha. Okay, now we're just gonna keep going. Um, yeah, teleportation. Um, yeah, 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 I dig this. Battle Cry, River Knee. Shut down by who token? It's a token. Ah, oh, so it's got like a resource thing on the other side. We got another enraged gorilla and a uh, news you. Yeah, so we got two enraged gorillas. Um, how big is the set? Hold on, does it say on the card how big the set is? Yes, yeah, so 153. Okay, that's actually not uh, a huge number in the grand scheme of card card games. I know there's like magic sets that have like 350 cards in them. So that's, uh, you know, very, uh, something you should keep in mind. It makes it so you can get better cards though, um, since it's uh, the pool is smaller, right? Um, got a token, got a Ma'angul. This is a rare. We have a Subjugation Strike rare. Was this always rare? I don't remember, I don't remember. Um, so, okay, we've got the two rares. And then we have Sidestep, Searing Light, Underworld Knowledge, and the Inferno Pits. Really interesting. I'm, I'm not sure what those last four cards are. I wonder if they're the last four cards are kind of seeded for draft. Hmm, that would be my guess. That would be my guess. The last four cards are seated for draft. So we have a uh, teleportation. Yeah, I think this actually is a really good set to get because look at you, we're getting all these duplicates already and I know that these are like the best cards that they've made. Um, so you have the best chance of getting just a really, ooh, we got another uh, rain. Different art though, different art I think, right? Yeah, different art, very cool. Um, I, I like rain a lot. One of my favorite characters in the game. She's really, really cool. Um, we have this big Cthulhu looking fish monster, our HP Lovecraft fish monster, um, pretty sweet. We have, ooh, Bolt Shot. I love the art on this card, very, very cool. Um, then we have Dark Brand, Sidestep, Searing Light, and Underworld Knowledge. I, I'm sure those are seated, like, for some reason. I do like the double rares in a pack. That's really cool, really, really cool. Um, yeah, it makes it so you can get just more cards and fill out your collection. It's something that Flesh and Blood does and I, I really dig it. We have Inferno Pits, Sea Crate, little cute, cute cub, uh, Mythical Protection at Common, interesting. Yeah, yeah, very cool. I, I bet they, they lowered the rarities and shifted around um, just to make it easier to get certain cards. Underworld Dealings, love the art on that one. Really, really cool. Uh, Breath of Jailara. We have Kor, I think is his name. Yeah, Kor. And then we have Call to the Bones and a Puppet Control. Nice. Really sweet. Yeah, yeah. So I think I heard something similar to that. The, the rarities, rarities were changed uh, to make certain cards that were like staples easier to get. Um, I'm not super knowledgeable about that. Um, ooh, look at that flight. Look at that flight. Searing Light. Wait a minute. I, did I figure it out? I think I might have figured it out. Hold on, we'll keep these aside. I think they might be alt art. We have Landslide, Holy Imbue, Cleave, Martial Sentry. Wait, okay. This, okay, definitely. This was a rare. This is a, it's a uncommon now. This was a rare. I have an epic version and a rare version of this. So 100%. Um, ooh, I like the art on this one too. Look at that. Really nice. We have Dense Fog. 
Skeleton Warrior token. We have another HP Lovecraft monster and a Vorpal Blade. Nice, I got a, three of those Vorpal Blades. Really sweet. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep these um, these back for a side because I think like this Chain Lightning and this Flight. I think they might be alt art. Um, that because I know they've used different art in the sets as well. So I, I, I really figure that's that's what that's gonna be. So we have Walls of Vadis, uh, that guy, <laughs> Displace, and the Tiger. All right, so I'm just gonna set those aside in their own pile. We'll see. We have Gust, um, Goliath, Sphinx Eater, big old spider. Um, Inferno Lash, Decoy, Rabbit, Fox. There's a lot of foxes, man. Adrenaline, it's like going Super Saiyan. Ooh, this is Erica. I like Erica. She's cool. Yep, you got a big old tiger. We have Malfeasance, so that's a rare, followed by Chrono Walker. Pretty cool rare. I dig it. I dig it. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of Genesis. So we still haven't, we still haven't picked a keyword yet. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We'll figure out a keyword in the next couple packs. And you just gotta say that keyword in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Mythical Protection, Sidestep, Jalaran Hound, and then. Uh, Anthur. You know what? Have we gotten any duplicates of any of these yet? I still think Mythical Protection. I mean, some of them. I really think it's like the Chain Lightning and the Flight and the Underworld Knowledge. Whoops. As I... You know what? That was a good test. I hit the card right against it and it didn't really do anything. Yeah. Good test of card durability as I mess up. Oh, Kodama. Um, Arcane Shield looks really cool. Water Pillar. I'm pretty sure the Pillars used to be rare too. Hmm. Pretty sure the pillars used to be rare too. Um, if I remember right, Lambs for the Slaughter, another Baihu token. Uh, we have an Archon of Vigor, followed by a um, Lightless Tibicina? Tibicina? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, going to be on the lookout for alt art stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe that, that could just be like a wild guess on my part, honestly. Um, Haunted Catacombs, it looks sweet. We have another Flight, but that's the same art. Uh, Searing Light, same art. Chain Lightning, same art. I don't know, maybe it's not, maybe, maybe it's not. I have seen different art versions of some of those cards. So, Holy Imbue, maybe they're, hmm. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to look. Uh, Martial Sentry, Xyfang, uh, we got a Sphinx, Mystical Spear, Makara. Oh, this is the old witch lady whose name I forgot. I totally forgot, Kendris? Yeah, oh, Kendra. That was close. That was close. We have Epiphany is a rare. Hmm. And another Chupacabra. It's not actually Chupacabra. I know. I know. Hmm. All right. Continuing on. We haven't gotten any of these angels yet. Getting like a full art or a foil one of those angels. Yo. That would be sweet. I know the foils are, are pretty rare in this. So we have a Vixen, Gut Punch, Leap, Shoulder Hop. So those are the back four. Then we have Tornado Winds. Got a Baboon, Cleave. Good old by who angels embrace. Hmm. Uh, we got this Jin. Ooh, so we have another epic. This is the uh, Ma'an Ghoul. So that's one epic in this pack. This is Whip Lady, Odara, and then we have Puppet Control Rare and Giant Scorpion. So you kind of get three rares there, right? Because you get the epic and then two other rares. That's pretty sweet. I can I can be down with that. Um. Yeah. What is your? Uh, I still haven't picked a picked a thing yet. We have Underworld Knowledge, Mystical Protection, Sidestep, and then the Hound. Release the Hounds. We have a uh, Giant Goliath Sphinx. We've got a Kodama. Left Hook. Arcane Shield. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise Fox. Sunrise. That's it. Surprise Fox. Say it in the comments. It's Surprise Fox. It's Surprise Fox. Um, Yamaduda. So yeah, if that wasn't clear, right? Right, um, basically, surprise fox, and then something else. You can literally write something else. But uh, yeah, we have core again. Um, we have core, giant scorpion, and then the old goy, core koi. Hmm, big old looks like a reminds me of like a purple worm from um, D and D. If you uh, if you are a D and D player out there, and I am a D and D player. I love Dungeons and Dragons. Fantastic. Um, so we got Shadow Claw, looks rad. Arcane Blast, another Chain Lightning, and Dis Displace, pardon me. Kodama, ooh, Quick Shot. 
Beautiful. Uh, Unhinge, Sandstorm, Foresight of the Ancients. I'm pretty sure this used to be rare as well. Shutdown, Persuasion. Ooh, uh, this, she's pretty cool. Um, probably one of my top five heroes, but not in the top two. Um, Feng. Ooh, I see the Angel. Yo, we got her. Angel of Retribution, really sweet. And then a Malfeasance. Nice, I, I definitely need more of those Angels to put them in a deck. So I think my favorite heroes in this game so far, I know they're gonna be putting a lot more heroes in. I think my favorite heroes in the game so far are, um, I like Rain, so let's just put them, put them out. Um, I like Rain and Erica, I think are my two favorites so far that we've, that we've pulled. Um, there's another one that I like as well, but we're gonna go with Rain and Erica so far as my favorite heroes. They look cool, man. Creepy girl, summoning tiger, and then like demon lady, demon assassin lady. I, I dig it, man. Those are, those are the vibes. Those are the vibes I'm with. Got another shoulder hop, shadow claw, blast, another chain lightning. Maybe they're just like cards that are so integral to the game that they just have to put them in. Quick shot. Maybe that's what they are. I will figure it out. Nee. Got Cabus. This was definitely rare before. Ooh, got a foil. This is an instill vigor, uncommon. Very sweet, very sweet, uncommon foil. You can kind of see the foiling here. Yo, really nice. Put that down here. I got a token, meteorite, and an archon of vigor. Yeah, dude. Um, would love to get a rare foil. Would love to get a, just an, man, give me the angel foil. That's my, that's my chase card. Foil angel, let's do it. Angels are great. You gotta get the angels. Power punch. Um, so I think my alt art plans were were um, not founded. Unfounded, I love this art, man. Shadow's Grasp, looks really good. Hurricane Sweep, Peripheral Vision. Oh, so this is Nubia. This is the other hero that I really like. Um, though I don't like her as character as much in the story. Um, I've read a little bit of their story, but she's cool too. Ooh, this card is sweet looking. Al Ilm? Al Ilm? Oh, that's sweet. And we have another Bolt Shot. So this is the other character that I really like. Um, uh, Raha, Raha. So I'm gonna take Nubia out. I do like Nubia, but uh, my top three characters, hopefully we'll pull a Raha. Uh, Erica, uh, Rain and Raha. What's your favorite character? Maybe you can put that also in the comment with, uh, with the Fox comment. Um, yeah. Put, put what your favorite uh, hero is. You got Arcane Shield. Um, just the, he's got the teeth. You have Kodama, Shutdown, Oten. Uh, Yamaduta, Air Pillar. Oh, this is the Erica art that I haven't seen. This is like an alternate Erica art. Huh, that's really cool. Another angel, dude, let's go. Two angels. Okay, I love the art in this card too. Revenge of the Phoenix. This art is so cool. This is one of the reasons why I like Feng because she looks amazing in this art. Yeah. This is like some of like the, one of the best looking cards in the game in my opinion. It's so, so cool looking. Um, yeah. Anyway, continuing on. We have, uh, the Jin. Just more foxes, man. Dark brand. Looks really cool. Um, someone mentioned that this game reminded them of an old game from the, the 90s. Oh, what was it? Blood Wars? Which is like a, it's a D&D &D setting. Oh, Torment. It's like a Torment. Planescape. Planescape setting. Yeah. Um, I don't remember this ogre dude's name, but uh, Malak, Romy Malak. Necrolich, I know this card's a really good one, and a Celestial Hegemon. I know the Necrolich is good. I have a couple of them already. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Getting down to the last few packs. Um, only one foil, so foils are pretty rare, and I, I do like that, honestly. Um, it means that they're, they're special, you know, because in foils in Magic, they're not special because you get so many. And I'll be honest, man, a lot of foils in Flesh and Blood are also not special, other than like cold foils, just regular foils. You get one per pack, so it's not not really like a, you know, rare special thing. Ooh, got Alt Art Nubia, looks really, really cool. Uh, Gilded Stag, I love the art in this one, very classic. And then Al Ilm. Um, still haven't gotten a Raha. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder what the pull rates are of the, of the heroes. I mean, you get them pretty frequently, right? But I'm just curious, like, on average, how many of each you get per box. Yeah, very curious. 
I'm, I really do think those last four cards are just like super staple cards. That, that's what my guess would be. Um, yeah. Ooh, Colossal Ant. Got a Baihu token. Ooh, Epiphany. Draw three cards. You love to see it. Love to see it. And we got this big old gorilla. Nice. Uh, I do like the Epiphany card. That, that's sweet. Getting that in foil would be sweet too. Um, so we have uh, four more packs. Four more packs. Let's do this. We've only gotten two epics and um, one foil. Sea crate, got another flight. I, I know flight has alt art. Maybe that's why I just it got me uh, mixed up. I know it has alternate art. Um, I love I love something art in this man. It looks really good. Earth pillar. Ooh, this is a really cool alternate art for this character. Like super super cool. Yeah, Idris. Really good looking. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, Yamaraja, maybe? Ooh, and then got the Zamber Dragon. Really cool. I've got, I think I have a copy of each of those cards. Um, yeah, definitely not getting like a ton of dupes of a lot of the, the cards. So getting like two angels is, uh, was a pretty sweet pull, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and I know like if you're looking to pick up this game, by the way, if you watch this video, um, just check your local game store, and I know there's going to be some places online that sell it. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, if you are a card retailer and you sell this game, you know, say in the comments down below, man, because I know it's going to be... Ooh, Guardian of the Balance Epic. Really nice looking. Really, really nice looking. Um, but yeah, just comment down below and um, yeah, give people a, an idea of uh, where to go. We have another Malik. Malik. Um, High Dualis. So this one... This one I do have a little bit of feedback. I think the art needs to be shifted. It's like totally over the dude's, like that's like right over the dude's face. Or Fang's face. Yeah. So some, so maybe some of the, the collation of the, the art on the cards can be fixed a little bit. I think this is one of them. Demon's Rage, that looks freaking awesome though. That looks really good. Um, yeah. But overall, I mean, I, I think this is sweet. Um, I think getting two rares in a pack is is just fun, um, and it also you know having the the rarity of the the foils, what they are means that there's still some chase right. So getting a foil is kind of a big deal. So I do like that. I do I do like that quite a bit. Um, Zaifeng instill vigor, Kabus. Yeah, Kabus was definitely a rare before. Ooh, another epic. Looks like we're probably gonna end up with four four in this box, with uh, puppet control. Really sweet looking, and then we have I believe this is Fang. Long, as long. Anguish Flame, that also looks freaking awesome. Really like the art in that. And then a Purifying Wave, yo, got a Purifying Wave. I've seen multiple arts for this card too. Really like the art in that one as well. And then last card, my favorite art in this entire game, and this is, comes to no surprise if you know me and you know that I have a second anime channel and all of this kind of stuff. There's an alt art Nubia that's like anime and it looks so good. Alt Art Anime Nubia is probably my favorite card in the game. Cause, cause I'm, I'm a giant weeb. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, would love a, like an Anime Raha. That'd be pretty cool too, man. Uh, Lambs for the Slaughter, Upheaval. Oh, yo, last pack. Last pack we got Raha, really sweet. This is the character I was talking about. Definitely one of my favorites. Probably my favorite, like my number one favorite character in the game. Um, she just looks fantastic. I think I like her mechanics. I think she's probably my hero of choice. Getting like an anime version of this, even though this actually kind of looks anime already. Really cool. Really, really cool. We've got another Chrono Walker and another Guardian. We've got a bunch of Guardians in this, this box. Well, that was sweet. That was really fun. I think this is a fantastic set to like jump in um, on the game with because you get a ton of rares. You get way more value in terms of just like rares and cards and that kind of stuff and I know they swap some stuff around to make certain cards easier to get so I, I really appreciate that and I, I think it's sweet I think it's really really cool um I only got one foil man foils seem really really rare um but uh we did get four epics here so yeah that was uh Genesis um if you want to enter the giveaway to win some of those uh signed cards I will I will do that I will sign them um and I will I will ship them to you yeah, so we're gonna have like uh, five winners and uh, just say say the thing you, if you watch the whole video You would know I'm not gonna say what it is, but if you watch the whole video you can you're gonna know um, um, and Maybe I'll ship you um, 
Let me know also, you know what, I'm gonna do this too. Let me know what your favorite hero is. Out of all of the heroes, let me know which one is your favorite and I will ship it to you. I can't guarantee it's gonna be one of these ones because um, I have a bunch of other ones as well, but just let me know and I will include it in the giveaway. I'll, I'll give you a hero in addition to the, uh, the other card. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone and we'll see you next time for some more card game content. See you later.